This is the New York City mansion that belonged to a woman who was born in poverty and died the wealthiest women in America. We are with Megan to learn more about her story. So Eliza Jamel was born in Providence, Rhode Island in abject poverty. She moves to New York City, changes her name, becomes an actress, and eventually meets Stephen Jamel, a French merchant. They marry and buy this house. Now as a merchant, Stephen Jamel would have been considered new money. And as somebody who was born in poverty, Eliza was kind of uh, looked down upon by New York society. Try and climb that social ladder. This is the home that George Washington had used as his headquarters. This doesn't really work out so well for them. Poor Stephen Jamel dies in 1832. About 14 months later, she marries Aaron Burr. We wonder why. The bed that she died in. Eliza claimed that this furniture belonged to Josephine Napoleon. The marriage with Burr does not last very long. She quickly divorces him using Alexander Hamilton Jr. as her attorney. Um, Eliza actually filed the divorce papers on the anniversary of the day that Aaron Burr killed Hamilton. Fascinating story. Stay curious, my friends.